is so great. You can see Superintendent Sarita Beeman along with uh, several board members from Seminole County Schools ringing the bell this morning at Oviedo High School. One hundred years. That's awesome. Love just all the festivities incredible. out there. Yeah, just great to see that. And David Martin is joining us live from Oviedo High School this morning. He's part of that 100 year celebration. Uh, David, good morning. They've even rolled out the red carpet. <laughs> We did, Ryan. I'll let Paolo, the cameraman, walk down it for you this morning on the first day of school here for Seminole County Schools and Obito High School. It's my honor to introduce you to the assistant uh, principal of the school, Rachel Menta. How are you, Rachel? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. You appreciate history because as we celebrate 100 years of Obito High School, you too, in your high school years, had a historical moment. Tell us about that. I did. I am the first graduating class of Haggerty High School in 2009, um, and we started off as just freshmen, and every single year, we kind of grew and we were always the oldest class and so I think it's exceptional this year for the graduating class of Oviedo High School to say that they are the 100th class to graduate like I was the first graduating class of my high school which is the other neighboring school in our city here. Yes, Haggerty. That's a Novito. Yes, Haggerty. Wow, what a, what a big city to have two high schools like that, right? Yes. And how many children and students do you have here at the Oviedo High School approximately? We have about 2,200 students this year. And they've all shown up this morning. How did drop off go as we celebrated with the color guard and the marching band and the cheerleaders this morning? Yeah, we really wanted to showcase all of our students. Um, and so the school board members and our superintendent, Sarita Beeman, rang in the school year with the old school bell, the Seminole County school bell. Um, and we had the cheer cheerleaders, the color guard, band, the drum line, and the dance team, and everybody was here to just really celebrate and ring in our centennial. Early though this year for a lot of kids, or so they think, but uh, August 10th, that's what you guys normally start at around here, right? Yes. So when the kids came on campus, could you tell they were excited? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we've never had a morning pep rally before. Oh. We've never had um, that kind of scene. So I think coming in and kind of seeing um, all the students just in their gear and spirited out and ready to go and all the seniors are wearing their senior crowns and it was just really a good good moment. Yeah, there's definitely an energy here. Very palpable and, and excited they were, they were to start the day. You've been here now seven years as an assistant vice, uh, assistant principal. What's the biggest change for this school there that you can address? Um, I think this school year, you know, coming off of the challenges that we experienced with COVID, that we're really looking forward to starting the school year off with new standards, um, really making sure that school safety is a priority, um, and really just allowing our students to enjoy our centennial year and really dig into um, what makes Oviedo High School the home of champions and scholars. Some of those standards would include what? Are there stricter rules? Yeah, so um, Fl Florida State standards have changed for English and math. They're called the new best standards. Um, and so our students are going to be having to learn what those are. And our teachers were able to participate in a extra pre-planned week, um, which we call the best summer ever week for them to learn these new standards and be able to teach them in the classroom. Good. Well, congratulations on the new year, 2022-2023 here at Oviedo High School, 100 years, a centennial year. Fascinating to be part of that history. Congratulations Thank and so good much. luck this year. Thank you. All right, Rachel, thanks for your time. We'll send it back to you all in the studio.